Today I'm going to show you how to play a game called Shape Battleships. Each player needs to draw two grids marked out with letters on the x-axis and numbers on the y-axis. I've put each grid in a plastic wallet so it can be reused rather than drawing it out for each game. Before you start you need to decide which shapes you are going to use. Both players need to use the same shapes and the same size of shape for the game to be fair. Here we're going to use a square, a rectangle, a parallelogram and a triangle. You can choose any shapes you want, you just need to always make sure both players are using the same shapes. One grid is blank, this will be where you work out all the other players shapes. On the other grid you plot the four shapes for the other player to find. The aim of the game is to be the first player to find all, all four of the other player's shapes. Each player takes in turns to call out a grid reference. If I call out a grid reference my partner has marked with an X, I put an X on my own sheet. If I call out one that my partner doesn't have an X in, I mark it so I don't accidentally call out the same grid reference twice. I'm going to use both my grids to show you how it works. I'll pretend this grid is the other players. I might call out F4. My partner would look at their grid and as there's a cross on F4, they would call out yes. I then mark a cross in F4 on my blank grid. If I call out H3, we can see there is nothing on H3. So my partner would call out no. I need to mark this one so I don't call it again. Take it in turns to call out a grid reference until the, all the crosses for one shape have been found. The other player calls out when the whole shape has been found. I then need to join up the crosses and name the shape. So here I would say parallelogram. The winner is the first player to find and name all four shapes. You can also play this game using coordinates instead of grid references. To make this game easier, you could use a large grid with fewer sections. To make the game harder, you could use the range of different shapes. I hope you all found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you soon. Bye.